fight. So guys, I've been jumping into a lot of Tekken 8, and this is a phenomenal game that I've been enjoying a lot with when it comes to gameplay. I have not completed the story yet. I haven't even tried to even dove back into that because I've been having so much fun with the gameplay. So this is going to be a separate video for the story mode as I will complete that tonight and get those videos out this week. With that being said, this is my Tekken 8 gameplay review. Tekken 8 for me, again, I have not played Tekken 8. You keep hearing me say it since PSP. I don't know or remember what Tekken that was. But if I recall, that Tekken was the Tekken that I remember. I just played Jin, And that was kind of the only character I knew how to play and played. Tekken 8 used to be, for again, my experience, very complicated. It looked very tricky. It looked very intricate to learn. And I didn't really understand how to play it it, it 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 just felt very anxious to play I, did, I just didn't feel comfortable as i did with maybe street fighter or mortal kombat 1 which i can say is miles ahead of both of those games tekken 8 by far graphically if you can just dwindle this down to the look of the game is phenomenal this game looks amazing this is a true next gen console game right here this game could not be done on previous consoles and I, I firmly believe that as we get closer into this new age of gaming that we will start to see more stuff like this aside from that the gameplay is fluid the punches looks crisp everything hits very uh how do you it's, it's not crunchy it's, it's very precise and everything every martial art every character you see is very diverse and very different a roster of 32 characters which i reacted to all of their trailers so i pretty much had an idea of who i wanted to get into going into this and I, when i played my first few games and stuff victor stood out to me the most bro this, i don't know who this guy is i know he's a new character so it's actually fresh on everybody's mind he is crazy he's basically john wick if he used a just just a bit just a bit more weapons if he had a bit more weapons in his arsenal this is basically john wick and and and, and trust me these customization options are endless i've definitely made a john wick version of this character at some point i made different versions of this character my my friends have been going crazy with the customization on this thing that that alone needs to be talked about but aside from that, we're still on gameplay just a little bit. The gameplay, again, fluid. The finishers, you have this thing called Heat, which uh, is equivalent to what these new fighting games are starting to do now. Games these days is this extra little special move meter that we, you know, we see. It's, it's this blue bar underneath your health bar right there. And when you use it, you get some characters get extra moves. Uh, mostly, though, it's, it's kind of OP. Once you activate it... The, the punches or like I guess highs and lows that you hit are pretty much armored and you go into this big flash of effects of moves you can dash in and go into another combo you have heat flash combos where they execute their what I like to call a mini finisher and is it, that is just wicked and then speaking of finishers the rage arts I, this is like a anime kids dream like these finishers are something out of straight out of like television like these finishers are well thought out well designed for each character and i really enjoyed watching each finisher even when it was getting done to me i honestly didn't mind when i saw people doing the finish I said, you know what you got that that i want to sit back and watch this that's that looks cool i don't know again the, the main character i've been using is victor so his finisher right there just automatically reminds me of so many people like captain levi with his sword and all that stuff i'm making a customization for him i did john wick i did uh doctor strange um i'm doing some other characters as well it, it, it's really fun to mess around, mess around with the customization a big part of this game is customization and its wackiness and the fact that people can make characters i've seen goku i've seen i've just seen so many different ways and, and what it does this customization what that does for me is it really puts you kind of in a uh unpredictable unpredictable state like some of these characters like when you get into a match you don't know who you're you're fighting you know who you're fighting 
But you don't know you fight. You could be fighting Kanye West. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it could be Goku. It could be Yoshi or something. It's just like, whoa. It's like, what game am I in? It's like a true fever dream. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what really adds the real flavor for Tekken is the customization. Everything else added is great. The gameplay is just dang near flawless. But the customization really allows you to kind of mod your game a bit without using a PC if you're not on PC. It's really, really, really optimal. And again, I do get it. The customization can be a little tricky to get used to, and it is a little laggy and lacking in a lot of areas. But I reckon that will come with updates and DLCs. I don't see them slacking on this with this boatload of content that they've added. With that being said, Tekken 8 gameplay is truly, truly something for newcomers to get into like myself. I am a newbie. I am not going to act like I'm good at the game. I am pretty decent at fighting games in general. But when I was picking this up, I immediately, I immediately was falling in love with the, the hundreds of combos that you can execute and do. And I haven't even tapped into most of them. What I will recommend for newcomers is do not rely on special style it is cool to mix it in with your regular moves that is okay but i don't recommend it for two reasons one is that the screen pops up for both sides and it can get annoying for the opponent both the opponent and you and i don't really think that's fair for like in a fighting game another thing is that it can hinder you a bit because you only have access to those moves and it, it if you're not swift with changing with it, you can get caught up in a real, real bad, bad situation. Leads on into my next point. This game allows you to really reach the next level, like really reach high level play without having to just grind in training mode. They let you access things like ghost battles, which you can find in arcade mode through the arcade quest, which is a nice addition to the game as well. Creating your avatar, making him look cool and running around in the hub. That's, that's a, that was a great addition to the game. Um, not the biggest part for me because, you know, kind of matchmaking is a little uh, sometimes, but it was, it was real cool to kind of walk around and see that. But as, aside from that, when it comes to getting into things like the ghost battles and the customization and stuff like that, yeah, like the way you can tailor your gameplay and train your own ghost to fight you in order for you, like, like literally guys, you can train your ghost to fight you to really flush out your weaknesses and kind of be like, oh, wow, this is what I do. Ugh. Like you can kind of look, it really kind of put me in cringe mode when I saw the way, like when I was fighting and I was like, oh, did I was like, dude, do something else. Like it really kind of puts you and makes you get better. They also have replay mode where you can go back through the replay and actually they will tell you how to defeat your, literally they will tell you how you lost your last game and it would look, hey, do it like this. And it will let you replay it and actually fight and try out different scenarios in which you can execute or or get a punish or do something differently. I'm not going to lie. It's going to cause some toxic situations. I can feel it. But it really makes you say like, oh, I don't really have to grind so hard. I just got to kind of sit back, go back and really look at how I'm fighting. Kind of go in training mode. Like it's, you still got to kind of grind, but it's not as much. And it's not as tedious. Like... You can go into other ghost battles and fight other people's ghosts and actually see how other people fight and kind of train against other people. You know what I'm saying? It really, really tailors your mind to train the right way instead of just grinding and hard hitting and just beating yourself to a pulp in training mode when you could just open up the way you train. And I think that's what Tekken did the best. Thank you guys for listening to my little review here. This is the gameplay version of the review. I'm doing a sto separate story review. I really had to separate this because it just both offline and online have so much depth and it, they really gave a boatload, just a boatload of content. And and again, in the story, I will add in a music section to the story review because the music alone, the music alone just needs to be talked about. So we'll get into that next time. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and we're gonna get on some more Tekken 8 content. Peace. You win. Nous sommes les seuls à pouvoir contrôler l'équilibre des puissances de ce monde.